Hi guys, it's your coach Rosen from Treasure Fitness and in today's video, I am going to give you seven tips on how to stop overeating. These are tips I've implemented in my own lifestyle, tips I've given my clients, and these are tips that are going to help you if you are intentional at implementing them. All right, here we go. So the first tip I want to give you is you want to eat real foods. What does that mean? I want you guys to focus on a lot of vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, beans, Foods that our grandparents ate, a lot of lean proteins. If you're going to eat your meats, try as much grass-fed beef as possible once or twice a week. Chicken, white meat, fish, that's what I'd recommend. Obviously, something that you enjoy. So you want to eat real foods as much as possible. That's going to help you stop overeating because it's going to fill you. These foods that you're going to eat are going to fill you. You're going to get all the nutrients that are necessary. They're going to help balance you so that you're not craving for all the wrong foods. So just eat real foods, all right? That's tip number one. Tip number two, and this one's important because I really want you guys to be so mindful in doing this. Our lives are very busy. We're working, we're having family, we have kids. We have so many demands placed in our lives that we become stressed. And when you're stressed, you release cortisol. And cortisol is what ends up having you gain that midsection belly. So one of the things to do to help you stop overeating is, that is managing your stress. And how do you manage your stress? You really want to look for activities that you love that are relaxing to you. It could be dancing, it could be yoga, it could be meditation, it could be going for a prayer group, it could be reading, walking, hiking, biking, whatever resonates with you, whatever works with you, you want to plan that to be part of your lifestyle. So you want to incorporate that as part of your schedule. You want to de-stress. Massage is one thing that I love to do. I don't do it oftenly, but it helps me de-stress. So that's one of the things that I want you guys to be super mindful about. And talking about mindfulness, if you find that you're overeating, I want you guys to begin to be so mindful about the foods that you're eating. I want you to be mindful about what it is that you're putting in your bodies. And mindfulness comes really as a result of just being very present. You want to be present. When you put your food, do not eat it while you're watching television. Studies show those people who eat while watching television, you tend to overeat. You're not listening to cues in your body. You're not listening to when your, your brain has already said you're full. You know, it takes about 20 minutes for your gut and your brain, for that signal to go through, to tell you that you're actually full, it takes about 20 minutes. But if you're watching television, there's an element of mind, mindlessness. So we're just eating, we're eating, we see a commercial about some fried foods, it just it makes you excited. All you wanna do is get some more fried foods or sugary desserts. So what I want you to do, apart from being mindful, set a time or a routine where you and your family or you are eating somewhere, a quiet place where it's just you and your food and then look at your plate does it have what i already talked about is it real foods that are in there are you putting real foods in your body so mindfulness is another thing that i want to encourage you guys to do the other tip is journaling you have no idea how amazing when you begin to journal what you eat you actually get to see firsthand what you're putting in your mouth because a lot of us tend to underestimate how much we're eating but the minute you begin to write it down, you actually get to see, number one, what kind of foods am I putting in my body? What macronutrient am I focusing on? Am I maybe eating more carbs or more fats or more proteins? Is there a food group that's not represented when you journal? Begin to journal, you guys. You're going to begin to see exactly what it is that you're putting in your body, but just mindfully writing everything down. By journaling, you're going to be able to see what food groups you may not be eating. You're going to be able to see if you're eating too many processed foods, too many sugars. These are foods that are going to inflame you. And you know I'm all about removing those inflammatory foods because they age as quickly. And none of us wants to age that fast, right? We are aging gracefully. So again, be super mindful about uh, the foods that you're eating and then journal it down. You will be amazed at what you actually see when you journal it down. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, it's one that I really recommend, especially clients that are super busy, uh, are always either traveling, are always um, working late hours in the night, but you've got to rest your body. You know, we were given this body to work during the day and rest at night. 
but just because of uh, civilization and the work schedules that are all different you know we're all living the same way that our old folks uh, lived a long time ago you know we have televisions we have computers um, the blue light from our computers and our iPhones and our iPads so when we go to bed a lot of us are not actually sleeping and a lot of us are you know watching the television or we're watching our iPads our phones looking at messages and what happens is that blue light actually really awakens your brain so when your brain's supposed to be shutting down what's happening is when we're looking at our phones and our iPhones and our computer and our television we're actually wiring your brain and it's becoming quite awake and what happens is you're not gonna be able to get that restful sleep that you need without good sleep or if you do not sleep well you're not giving your body time to rejuvenate time to grow new cells it's so important do not underrate sleep sleep is one of those things that a lot of people tend to underestimate it's important for you to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep so make sure you hit your bed um, shut the curtains um, turn those lights turn the lights off turn your blue lights off from your computers from your iPhones at least two hours before grab a book that's something I'm, I'm actually doing grabbing a book and reading it in the night because it's going to help you sleep much better all right the other tip I'm going to give you guys is you want to make sure you never skip your breakfast and I'm gonna add on to that for your breakfast make sure it has a protein in there one of the things that's going to help you long term is making sure you are having your breakfast in the morning and that breakfast you want to make sure you have a source of protein coming either from eggs from chicken from a protein shake a whey protein a rice protein uh, from your beans your legumes even though beans remember are more carbs than protein but you want to make sure you're having that protein in there your yogurt plain yogurt is in there Greek yogurt those are all different types of protein so you want to make sure you start your day with a protein studies have shown that people who actually skimp on breakfast do not eat their breakfast tend to gain more weight than their counterparts who actually eat breakfast or who start their day with breakfast if you start your day with a breakfast typically what happens is later on in the evening you're not gonna be having those cravings that a lot of people who skip on breakfast tend to have so please do not skip your breakfast important to have that protein shake especially for us ladies I recommend either start with your protein shake if you're in a hurry you're a business executive you're busy uh, person just running up and out the door a high quality protein shake is so important to start you know make sure you have your protein in there a source of fat either from like a coconut oil almond butter cashew butter one tablespoon adding some green leafy vegetables in there and then add some either water or coconut or um, almond milk cashew milk any of that is going to really help you stay fuller longer and it's going to help you reduce your cravings all right guys so those are my tips huh last one before I forget exercise hello how could I forget that you need that exercise in there so make sure you're getting your exercises in the more exercise that you get in you get more energy you feel more energized and the more energized you feel you actually tend to crave all the good foods it helps keep your hormones balanced so get your exercise going as well and remember with exercises you always want to do something you enjoy and something you love and something that you know you can sustain long term if you love strength training do strength training if you love dancing do dancing if you love yoga do yoga it's so much better you doing something even going for a walk than someone who's just sitting back you are so many steps ahead you who's doing your exercises than someone who's just sitting back and watching everybody else go for a walk everybody else go for a dance you get the drift so get those exercises in there so those are my tips you guys on how to stop overeating 